Impact Wrestling fans, what's going on with you? It is BQ with the Impact Lounge. Another match announced today for the Impact Wrestling vs. Lucha Underground show at WrestleCon. I think the match was announced by Gail Kim. I was conducting an interview with Congo Kong at the time, so I didn't really see when the uh, announcement came out. I just saw it all over Facebook. Ali will be defending the Knockouts Championship against Taya. So, interesting thing is the graphic that I've seen that I think is out there right now does not have the split down the middle to where it's Lucha Underground versus Impact. And it says Taya Valkyrie, which I don't believe is her name in Lucha Underground. Maybe we'll update, update that later, kind of like they did with Eddie Edwards and Sammy Callahan. So, when they announced the main event, I was seeing a real mixed reaction from people. This is supposed to be Impact versus Lucha Underground, da 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 da. Here's my whole thing with the main event, and then we'll get back to the knockouts, is if you read between the lines, the event is designed for not supremacy, you know, Impact versus Lucha Underground, who's better. It's it's a it's fun com competition, but at the end of the night, someone from each company is going to be standing tall, and I really think that's where they're going with it. Seems pretty simple to me, so don't get too crazy. And remember, this was initially an Impact Wrestling event, so it's going to be a little Impact heavy. Um, there's one graphic that came out. I don't know if it's official graphic or not because it has Jeff Cobb without a mask on, but it had a lot more Impact people featured on it than the Lucha Underground. So in this situation, um, Ali versus Taya, it's kind of being booked like an Impact Wrestling match it's for the Knockouts Championship. And I think some people were hoping, you know, they're going to get really creative with whatever they do with the Knockouts. I don't know if Rosemary competing or not. I saw Rosemary at an indie show a couple weeks ago. She wrestled with Crazy Steve, and she had a knee brace on, and she took no bumps, and she almost didn't tag in in the entire match. So, girl is still girlfriend's still a little bit injured. So, hopefully for WrestleCon she's good, and maybe they're gonna do something cool with her. And I think you know a lot of us were thinking, okay, Knockouts Championship, whatever, whatever they're gonna announce first for the Knockouts was gonna be very different. But with this being said, it is kind of an Impact event it, initially. That's what it was. So. The focus is going to be there, and uh, I don't think Ali's wrestled Taya before, so at least we're kind of getting something, you know, outside of a six-man or six-woman tag match. First time uh, we're seeing it, and we're starting to see Ali grow a lot on screen as a character, as a wrestler. So they're really starting to come around with how they do that. Taya's been booked as a really dominant heel, so it's going to be an interesting match. I'm going to imagine. I'm, I would imagine Ali's going to leave with the title. Because it's before the Redemption pay-per-view. And I'm sure they have her booked for uh, title defense out of the pay-per-view. So same reason I think you know LAX is going to win everything in their tag team match. Going back, I wish they would have done a trios match with Homicide. And um, crap, who's their partner? Someone could write it in the comments. Wish they could have done something like that, but didn't do it. I think Myron Reed maybe. I don't remember who it is. But interesting stuff. Knockouts Championship. Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you want to hear my thoughts or opinions or whatever on the other matches booked um, at the very end of this video you're going to see a couple of them pop up you can just uh, click right there or you can look in the description here i'll go ahead and uh, put a couple of those video links there thanks for swinging by please hit the subscribe button if it's your first time you're an impact wrestling fan and we'll be talking more impact wrestling and lucha underground talk to you soon peace